Hello friends. Today, we will talk about Arduino and ESP32 online simulator by WalkY. This simulator works perfect in any web browser. You can try different examples available on the home page or you can write your own code. Let's try to write my own code on ESP32. Here, I will do the classic blink example. So the first thing I will need is an LED. I will connect anode pin to GPIO12 and the cathode pin to ground. Now, in the code section, I will set the pin 12 to output. And in the loop function, I will set the pin 12 to high. Then, I will set the half second delay. And then, set the GPIO pin 12 to low. Then, again set the half second delay. Now, click on the simulate button. And LED will start flashing. You can see it works very well. Let's try another sketch. As you know, ESP32 has built-in support for Wi-Fi. And here is the ESP32 examples page on GitHub. From here, I will copy this sketch. And this sketch will scan for Wi-Fi networks and print out all the details about the available Wi-Fi networks. I will paste the code in simulator's code section. Now, if I run this sketch, it will start scanning the Wi-Fi networks. And here, we have found the network. This is the built-in Wi-Fi network in the simulation system. Now, you can connect to this network and use the internet from your ESP32 board. The interesting thing I have seen here, that is, Blink library. So, you can write code for Blink IoT Cloud directly from this simulator. That's amazing. From here, you can install almost all the Arduino libraries and then you can use that library in the code. But this is not the end. You can also use MicroPython on ESP32 board. Here LED is connected to ESP32. And I will enter the blink sketch written in MicroPython. Now I will run the simulator. Here you can see the LED is blinking perfectly. Let's try some other examples for Arduino Uno. There are a bunch of examples here. Let's try this DHT22 temperature and humidity example. Click on simulate button to run this example. Here you can see the temperature and humidity data is printing out in the serial monitor. There are a lot of interesting examples here that you might try yourself. It is such an amazing simulator, you might try for fun. That's it. You might ask any question in the comments. See you in the next video. Bye.